Each LP problem involves three stages. The first stage is problem identification. This is the stage where you identify the problem that you want to solve. You could have a problem at work, at home or at play which you want to identify and then solve using an LP method. So in this stage you would identify and specify the problem. You would establish relationships between the variables then you would identify the constraints This could involve identifying the available hours, or identifying the constraints with regards to space, or material, or money. So once you have identified the problem that you want to solve, the next stage is problem formulation. So once you have collected all the data in this stage of problem identification, in problem formulation you would construct a mathematical model from the available data. In order to construct the mathematical model, first you have to identify the decision variables. Then you have to identify the objective function. And you also have to set up mathematical equations for the constraints. Once you have formulated the problem, the next step would be to solve the problem. So in this stage, you would identify the method that you would use to solve this problem. then you would obtain the solution to the problem with the help of the selected method. And then you would test the solution for optimality. Generally these methods would be either graphical or simplex. The graphical method uses graphs to solve the problem and to find the optimal solution. This you would use generally when there are two decision variables. The simplex method is more of an iterative process involving a series of arithmetical steps. This method can be used for solving complicated programming problems involving two or more decision variables. Out of these three stages 
of an LP problem generally stage number two is the most important because once you have correctly formulated the problem then you can easily solve it using the graphical or simplex method.